Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. Well, today we're going to again take up a problem based on dynamics and this is associated with connected bodies. So if you want to read the description of the problem, go ahead and it has been provided at the bottom of your screen. And if you've done that, I'm sure that you can understand this arrangement. But let me go ahead and explain you what this arrangement has to offer. So there are essentially two blocks block 1 block 2 mass of block 1 is m1 which is equal to 5 kgs whereas the mass of block 2 has to be taken as 10 kgs essentially there are two inclines okay so theta 1 has to be taken as um, let me rub this theta 1 has to be taken as 30 degrees so let me write over here 3030 and as far as theta 2 is concerned it has to be taken as 60 degrees so let me go ahead and rub this and let us have more clarity to the problem. Okay, now what? What we're supposed to do is we need to find the acceleration A with which this block is moving downwards, okay, or down the plane, you can say. Or you can also say that acceleration A with which this block is moving up the plane. Now, both of these are going to be same since they have been connected to each other with the help of one single string, okay, which is actually passing over a pulley. And since this string is same for both the masses, the tension over here let's say st and over here also the tension is going to remain same since the string is one and same okay so let's go ahead and let's try to solve this by applying newton's second law of motion or you can also go ahead and use the d Lambert's principle both of them are pretty much the same with only a mathematical difference okay as far as newton's second law of motion is concerned you have the product of mass and acceleration towards the right of the equal to sign and when you apply the dl Lambert's principle everything is going to remain same the only difference is that that product ma mass and acceleration will come over to the left hand side of the equal to sign and we regard that as the inertial force okay to bring that entire arrangement in the state of dynamic equilibrium anyways let's not waste time and let's start the motion analysis so first of all we're going to do the motion analysis for block two so let me write over here block two okay let's see all the forces which are acting along this block so here we go first of all you have to apply this force what is this this is mg okay so the mass is how much block 2 mass of block 2 is 10 so 10g is acting downwards okay what else is there since this block is moving in the downward sense somewhere here okay what we'll have is a friction force now but before that let me go ahead and let me do something else all right so we're gonna have two components of this 10g this angle is going to be 60 degrees so right here this component let us say this is 10 g this is 60 this is going to be 10 g cos 60 and we'll have a component here in the form of 10g sin 60 apart from that since this part uh, since this block is in contact with this surface over here so this surface is going to offer a reaction perpendicular to this plane and this reaction is something of this sort uh, let's just say this reaction be given by for block 2 let's say this is r2 it's that simple okay so until now we've seen two forces this was the force uh, due to gravity 10g and this was the reaction force offered by this plane onto this block in this direction and since this block is moving in the downward direction there is going to be some sort of friction all right that friction will be acting along the plane and let me show you how it would look this way that's the friction force and we know very well that friction force is given by f is equal to what mu r or mu n some people write the reaction in the form of n you can go ahead and do, do, do that no problems okay so what i'm going to do is i'll write mu r2 over here so that's it that's uh, the forces acting onto this block now we're going to go ahead and do this here we go first of all we're going to do this summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero well why why am i doing summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero there is a specific reason for that this over here guys this 
is y and over here this is going to be x so along the plane it's x perpendicular to the plane it's y okay now perpendicular to the plane somewhere along this direction we only have to deal with two forces one is this r2 while the other one is 10 g cosine 60 so take upward as positive okay downward as negative so obviously this is going to work out as it's going to be very simple r2 will be positive minus 10 g cos 60 and that's equals 0 so you can work out r2 reaction it's going to be equal to 10 g cosine 60 okay now we're going to be using this so let me just put this into a rectangle okay we're we going to be using this somewhere now let's work out the forces working somewhere along the plane so we have to deal with 10 g sine 60 we have t and we have this mu r2 also the value of r2 has already been calculated okay so we're going to be using that now <clears throat> summation of all the forces in x direction actually equal to mass into acceleration so why f of x is equal to ma over here because motion is happening along this direction or along the plane that's why all the forces in the x direction in the x direction will be equal to mass into acceleration and since the name of this block is 2 therefore we're going to use this subscript m2 over here m2 multiplied with the acceleration so let's go ahead and work out the forces it's not going to be that tough okay so what is m2 let me see first of all it's 10 kgs all right now guys try to work out which force is dominating the motion now you can clearly see that this force is along the direction of motion this is acceleration and this is force uh, which is acting along the direction of motion so this has to be taken as positive and the forces opposite to this force shall be taken as negative it's that simple so we've got 10 g sine 60 let me write it over here smaller i have less space 10 g sine 60 what else have we got we've got this t we've got this mu r2 um, minus t minus um, mu r2 and all of this is going to be equal to m2 multiplied with this acceleration okay so that's exactly what you're going to do and let me let me simplify this further we can also write this as 10 g sine 60 minus t minus mu times of r2 what's r2 it's 10 g cosine 60 so it's 10 g cosine 60 and all of this stuff is going to be equal to mass into acceleration m2 is how much let me check it's 10 so 10 times of a2 so this is exactly how we're going to be framing our equation number one okay so let me frame this in a better way <coughs> or rather let me put in the values that's not a2 that's a anyway um it's going to be 10 times of gg is 9.81 sine 60 you can put that value from the calculator itself um, minus t times of minus again we have a bracket mu whose value is 0 0.33 yeah multiplied by 10 multiplied by 9.81 let me rub this stuff because we are working with less amount of space and what else have we got we've got this cos 60 also so multiplied by cos 60 and eventually all of this will be equal to this 10 times of a all right so you just need to solve this equation and let me frame this in a better way um and this should probably work out as if we take this t over here so we've got this 10 a plus t is equal to 68.77 so let us say this is going to be our equation number one okay we need to frame one more equation and again in that equation we are going to be having a and t as the variables so in that case you're going to be having two equations and you have to work with two variables it's the same simple problem of linear equation in two variables right now let's do the same analysis same motion analysis for this block which is moving uphill okay this way okay so again the first thing to do is to apply this okay force due to gravity that is the weight mass is how much block one mass is 5 kg so this is going to be 5 g so 
that's it along the plane perpendicular to the plane this angle over here will be equal to this angle that is 30 degrees and that's the component of this 5g force okay this is going to be equal to 5g cos 30 it's going to have one more component over here and we can write this as 5g sine 30 anything else yes there is going to be a reaction force offered by this plane onto this block in a sort of perpendicular way this way and since this is block one let's say this is a reaction one and since the motion is happening along this direction so we're going to be having one frictional force this direction force of friction and what about this friction force and we know very well that force of friction is equal to mu r and in this case the reaction has to be taken as r1 so it's going to be mu r1 so let us just write force of friction as mu r1 as of now so that's it now let me rub this <coughs> let's do the motion analysis now for block 2 it's not going to be that hard so block 2 first of all we're going to do this summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to 0 so this over here is the y direction any force which is upwards like this has to be taken as positive and this has to be taken as negative that's it okay so we've got r1 above and 5g cosine 30 downwards in that sense so r1 minus 5g cos 30 and you can write this as r1 is equal to 5g cos 30 you're really running out of space i don't know how how will uh, how i'm gonna accomplish this with so less space anyways that's over then let's try to frame one more equation so we're gonna have summation of all the forces along the plane this is the direction of motion along the plane is going to be equal to mass into acceleration and the mass that we are working with is this block one so for block one we're going to have m1 so let me do this in one go okay <clears throat> as you can clearly see that this force is dominating why this is dominating because this is where the motion is happening so t is dominating t shall be taken as positive and any force opposite to this t shall be taken as negative so both these guys will be taken in the negative sense so we've got t all right what else have we got we've got 5g sin 30 and mu r1 minus 5g sin 30 minus mu r1 but guys instead of writing this r1 you can write this r1's value is 5g cos 30 so let me rub this let me write 5g cos 30 and anything else well obviously mass into acceleration how much is the mass m1 m1 has to be taken as 5 kgs so five times of acceleration a now both these bodies or other blocks m1 and m2 are having the same acceleration um the sense is different this is down the plane and this is up the plane so that's it you just need to put all the values g is 9.81 sine you've got mu is as 0.33 and that's it you have to put in all these values and then the final equation that will be framed is something of this sort let me tell you uh, where is it where is it 5a minus t space is really less 5a minus t and this is going to work out as negative of 38.54 so that's precisely our equation number two okay very less space is there man okay so these are the two equations so these are the two variables a and t a and t so you've got two equations and two variables it's pretty simple one thing that you can do you can put the value of t which will be equal to 68.77 minus 10 a over here okay and in that sense this entire equation uh, will become in the form of a or will have only one variable in the form of a and then you can solve it it's that simple or you can also go for equation one plus equation two because in that change this t is positive this t is negative so these two guys will cancel out and then what remains is the value of acceleration a let us go ahead and apply this policy equation one plus equation two now listen to this very carefully 10a plus t 5a minus t 10a plus 5a is 15a 
15a what else is there plus t and minus t cancel out no problems we've got the 68.77 minus 38.54 and this should probably work out as you have to see this um, 30.22 so essentially you can say that acceleration will be equal to 30.22 over 15 and when you do that you're going to get the value of acceleration as it's going to be equal to 2.01 2.01 meters per second square so this is the acceleration with which this block is going to go downhill and this is the acceleration same acceleration with which this block is going to go uphill that's it now you can put value of acceleration either in equation 1 over here or in equation <coughs> 2 over here and then you can get the value of tension and tension actually works out as let me check mm, this actually works out as 48.67 newtons 48.67 newtons so it's over so guys that was all from my set for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update well uh, do tell your friends about this channel so that they can also benefit anyways i'm going to be back with more such videos on mechanics and drawing until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day keep learning